like show my keys as I do them so you guys can see it. So that way you can see exactly what I'm doing uh, and build it by hand, I guess. Uh, what were we typing? Oh yeah, we are gonna type in return. Uh, we'll do big A on add spend row as overview. You know, I always turn that to like, let's make month overview. Yeah, we'll do the month. We'll center it. And remember, we don't theme everything until we're done at the end where everything is, uh, uh, when we, uh, sorry, John, <laughs> uh, we'll theme everything at the end and brand it at the very end. I'm just checking to make sure I got my alignments right. And last week, if you watched, I did see that I had a query function. And when I went to go do the edit, it is late here. It's nine something, uh, nine ten. I did get tired and noticed it was account A <laughs> instead of account B. So if you happen to watch that back one, yeah, I did catch it. I did find it, but <laughs> but onto this one. So we're gonna make a column right here. Uh, we're gonna make a table right here. Uh, this is gonna be the date column, and then we want a spend column, and we're gonna make that one a random one. And then we want a add sales column. And then we're going to want a row as, and we're going to end up hiding this one. We're going to shrink it down. So that way you don't have to see it. Cause it's one of those ones we don't want to plug in, but to make a, this one's a cool trick. If you guys ever want to win at a, like a show off thing, type in uh, equals sequence. We're going to use the sequence function. We're going to go day. We're going to go EO month, and what this one is saying is at the end of the month, we want to grab the date at the end of the month. So whatever date you put in, it'll grab the end of the month. So I'm going to say end of the month today, and that calls today's date based on your computer. I'm going to say zero. And where am I at on this? Yep, zero, end of the month. So what I'm grabbing is how many days are in the end of the month. I want to know how many days. So it goes down. So never be more than 31. But if it's February, it'll be uh, it'll be 28 or 29, depending on leap year. But this one will show 31 because May is 31. So we'll do one. Now we're going to do one column. We're going to start it at date. We're going to type in year. I'm manually putting in the date so it knows what date to start. And I'm using these breakups so it knows what to read. So I can call today. And the reason I'm doing it this way, I forgot to close this one. Reason we're doing it this way is because I want the first. There's other formulas, but I do it this way so you guys can kind of see the functionality, the logic of what you're trying to build here. Lost my, I'm on date. Okay, so date. And then we want the first, so now I'm saying the day is on the first. I'm gonna close that and then I'm gonna say by one. Oops, by one. And then it's gonna generate uh, all the dates right here. And you're like, these aren't dates. You're absolutely right, they are not. But now that I know there's 31, I can go to this and I can format it, not the text, and I can pick my date. So now I have a date format. Uh, when you're in Europe, just for you guys to know, when you're in Europe, you're going to have the uh, day first, then the month, then the year. For those Americans like myself, we do the month and then the day. But you can easily change it by going to settings. I hope I didn't screw anything up. No. There we go. Sorry. Uh, you can easily change it by, as soon as I let it go. This is getting cut out in the cardio for sure. If you go to file, settings, and I'm gonna have a short come out of this, but I wanted to show you guys this while I was on here, if it ever works. Why is it not file, settings? I think it's because it's still loading. That's all right. Okay, are we done loading? I think I'm. I'm using a Chromebook, believe it or not. I'm not using a computer. I'm using a Chromebook. There it is. 
So you can go to local and this will change right here. You can change it to whatever you want. I'll keep it on the United States so I don't jack it up. But if you're working with clients overseas and their sheet has the funkiness, don't even try to format it the right way because it'll just jack it up. And then when you use the query function, it'll jack it up. Just go to file and just change it over here. And you can change the time zone too. But yeah, that's that's the bonus tip. And here we go again. So now we need to add some, we need to put in some, uh, some fake ad spend. So we're going to do another cool one. We're going to do the random between, whoops. And what I'm saying is I want you to pick a number randomly between, we'll say 15 and 60. And this is, this is where you're going to fill it out. I'm putting this in for randomness and I'm holding shift and down and I'm going to go to, uh, we'll go to the 14th right here. ka -chow. All right. So we got some random numbers. So if I hit it again, ka -chow, it changes. So it'll change throughout the whole report just so you guys see it. Now here's a fun one. We're going to say, uh, cause we want to fill it down and we want it to stay blank until we put, uh, so no, uh, we're going to fill this out with some random data as well. So I'm going to do a fun formula here. We'll do if this one, C4 is greater than zero, I want to times this by a random between. So when you guys say you don't have, uh, data you can just make some up just like this i do all the time we'll pick a random number between then one and four and do i want to do it this way yeah i want to do it this way and then if it's if there's nothing greater than zero, it'll go to uh, a blank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this all the way down to the 31st, hit enter. Yep. See, and as you can see, there's nothing there, but if I do bring this all the way down, say a few more, ka -chow. <clears throat> perfect. Now we have that one. What's that in our row as formula? We'll do an array one for this one. For all you Excel people, you can just use the, uh, they, I don't think Excel has the array, actual array formula right up like Google Sheets does, but uh, you can use the curly brackets. So what we're going to do is say, if, uh, if one of these, scroll down, scroll down. This is going to be the max that we're going to have. If one of these, if any of these are greater than zero, I want you to take this, the ad spend, or the ad sales divided by this column. And normally we would lock the sales in, but since I know this is going to be a standard set for what it is, we'll leave it like that. And then it'll be blank if nothing is there. And ba bow look at that. We oh, you know what? I want this one to. I want to show some decimals on this one. Oh, Oop, too many decimals. I just want to go two. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now it's all filled out perfectly. I'm gonna shrink that bad boy. Because on our report, we, oh, we do have it out. That's right. I am going to, I stand corrected. So well, there we go. We got that in there. Next, what is on my next to do here? I'll find my mouse. All right. We have our, our table, our day, our manual punch in table. And then now we, those ones you can rewatch at any time. Those are awesome. Um, if you were here last week, you probably saw some of those emails. 
Okay, we are going to do the total sales scorecard. So we're going to do some scorecards. Uh, I'm going to put them right here and then we'll format them later. So one, two, e, total sales. Yeah, here we go. So total sales. We can do scorecard charts, but I don't like doing it that much on Google Sheets like this. I prefer to do them this way. So we'll do... Uh, equals sum of, and what do you get? What do you think we're going to do? If you said add sales, you are correct. And we're going to go all the way down here because that is where it will be manually put in. And we need to put a dollar sign there. Ka -chow. And we should probably put dollar signs to all of this stuff. Kaboom. Kasplode. That's what my son used to say was kasplode. All right. So now we're making this super zombie easy. Uh, do, 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 do. total sales. So row as is ads, um, ad spend divided by ad sales. So I want sales in the center because I want row as right here. Ad sales divided by, and then we want ad spend. Oop, no, we want total, total. And I guess we could probably put average row as, but I'm not going to because it's not really an average. So let's do this. Sum this bad boy out. What column do you think we're going to do? We're going to do the spend. Yep, spend, sales, and you would think we would do the average on here. No, you never want to do that because it's aggregated. We want to take the aggregated. So what we're going to do is do this. We're going to do equals divided by, and that is our ROAS. If I was to do the other way, Some might say I forgot how to spell average. We won't get what we think we're getting. Watch this be the one time it actually matches up. Yeah, do you see the, the difference there? You don't want to use average because if I was to manually do this, aggregate it, you always want to do the aggregations, divisions like this or something you might average. Try not to average it out unless you really, really have to. Take the totals, especially when you're building dashboards, take the totals of the sums and then do one based off the sum. So when you're building dashboards or doing uh, Power BI or something like that, make the sum and then divide it. Don't do the average of it. Or even on spreadsheets, don't do the average because you you get the wrong. You'll have, and there's nothing worse than being on a meeting when somebody's like, oh, that's not right. That's off by like 10%. Yeah, you don't want that. So this is why we do it this way. We want two decimal spots. <clears throat> don't you just love how that data just keeps changing? Uh, Row as will stay the same because of the multiplier. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we have our scorecards. I'll do a little bit of formatting real quick. We'll just center these bad boys, and we're going to put them like that. Yeah, that works. That's pretty good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring these ones down here. I got to check out my image to see how I'm doing this. Looks like I got four. One, two. And these ones go down four. So we'll go. We'll do something like this. Boom. Oh. Is this what I want to do? And I'm checking to see if I like this. Merge. Yeah, I think I'm liking this. I feel like I should go over some on these ones, but... Uh, no, I don't need to because... 
there's nothing below that I need to worry about on this. So we'll go over, just doing a little tidy up, giving some gaps. Boom. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look at that. Now we have our scorecards. This needs to come out more. Yeah, buddy. All right. Next, we are going to do our uh, our chart. But let me go to comments. I'm losing my voice real quick. No comments. This is just my water break. If you are finding this helpful, please hit the like button if you're watching this on the replay. Or if you're on LinkedIn, you can you can send some love my way. Back to the demo. Oh, this StreamYard is really cool. Is it StreamYard? No, I'm using Restream. I hope they don't get mad at me for saying it. Hopefully I said it the right way. Okay, we are going to be building a chart. But, but... I need to make the title of the month. Uh, I'm looking at my alignment on my actual one that I have. Is it G15 and G13? We'll go over here. So what we're building now is we're going to make the chart title dynamic so it matches up. So that way, as the month changes, it'll say what it is. So our formula that we want to use for that is concatenate. And we want to use month of, oops, got to put a space there. It won't do it. And then we'll use text. We're going to reference the cell right here, the first day. And then we're going to say we want the month four. Yeah. And then we want the full year. And then we want to close this. And then our next one, add spend performance. Boom. Now it'll show up anytime <clears throat> the month change, it'll be ready. And I did that on the wrong cell. Ah, go me. Let's tuck this in a bit. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I think I went too far out there. Yeah, I did. Hang on. Bear with me, guys. We'll do this because we want it to match. We're going to make this one my cutoff. Delete all this extra stuff. And we'll cut it off at 40. Go down. I'm just doing some quick tidy up so I know what frame I'm working with here. And we want this to be this column, this one. Nope. I'm going to select each column to get the same width that I would like the scorecards to be. And is that about how wide I want the chart to be? Yeah, that's not a bad width. Maybe a little, maybe a little more. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Now we want to insert our chart. You're like, oh, let's select our data. Go, go, go. We're going to insert a chart. There's somebody outside honking a horn and a foghorn, and it is very annoying. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but it is annoying. I want the combo chart. I want 
add spin. Here we go. Yep, I know exactly what I want. No, I don't. Yep, that's set up. We're going to go to series. We want spin to be a column. We want add sales. No, we want add sales because that's always going to be higher. We want that to be the column. And we want add spin to be a stiffed area so we get that cool little jagged line. And then we want row as to be a line with a big dot. But we do not want to see the line. Hmm. So we're going to put zero there. It's a trick you can do. I know it only gives us like auto one. You can just type in zero. But I want this on the right axis so we can get it a little bit better. And, huh. Do I want it to be that high? You know what? Yeah, I know what I want to do. I'm going to go to the axis. Normally, I don't recommend this, but just because of these are kind of misleading a bit, I'm going to go to the vertical right axis, and I'm going to give it a max of 10. Yeah, just for simplicity's sake, so we can... We can uh, see it. I don't want that to be, I want that to be, do I want to go down? No, I want to go up. No, I want to stay here. I'm going to change the format to where we have no dots. Boom. You see how we got rid of those Zeros, let's slant these bad boys. I don't like them going straight up. So let's do a 30. No, that's no, uh, nope, nope, not digging that. Yeah, I'll take the 60. And I'm liking this. Let's uh, give us some titles here. I don't need a chart title because we want the dynamic one. Um, do I want a subtitle? No, but uh, I'm going to leave mine out because we have one over there. Vertical axis. This is going to be uh, add sales slash spend. And we're going to put that as a dollar. Uh, let's go ahead and do that bad boy and then date let's put on the right axis row as and we'll put that as a as that too and we are done yeah see super easy let me enlarge my screen i like doing a smaller one so i can see Where'd my title go? Ooh, I want this. Oh, I don't know if I want it so far down. I have to bring the other ones down. We're going to go up to the edge here. And we'll go to the edge here. I don't like the legend up here. So let's put that at the bottom. Bottom. There we go. There we go. Cool. Okay, let's do some of this bad boy. That table, we want to center it. Center. And let's format that. 
alternate is Coca-Cola. The generic brand from Mercadona. Okay, I'm tired. What's that? I like Roberto. Roboto. Text, we like that. What is make this one our first one? This could be our second one. Oh, we need a third one too, huh? Ooh, I don't like that as the second one. Let's change it to the other green one. Here we go. Sorry, buddy. You, you're going to be changed out for a second. Yeah. And then that one. And we're going to make a new color here. I forgot what colors these were. Yeah, I'm, I could do that one. That one's pretty nice. What about this one? What does this one look like? Yeah, that's not bad. I like that. What I really want is an orange one. Let's find a cool orange one. If that'll make it pop out. Oh, that's that's horrendous. That is terrible. Ooh, let's do hot pink. They didn't even change my colors on there. Jerks. Yeah, I like these colors. We're going to go with that. And what we are going to do is go back to here because I don't like that. It didn't change my stuff. We're going to go purple. No, we want this one green. We want that one the green. And then we want this one the purple. Yeah, now we're now we're now we're lighting fires. You know what? No, I don't, I want this one to be the green. What do I have on my image? Also light purple. Uh no, we'll keep that pink. Uh, oh, that looks kind of good. Um, yeah, we'll just do light purple. Match it like the other one. Oop, you got, almost got away from me, date. We need to italicize you, bad boy. These look too funky. Let me try the 30 since we're... Yeah, I like that better because it doesn't leave all the dates and it kind of chops them up. But I don't like the size of these bad boys. So let's see how small we can get them. Well, let me go smaller. Let's do eight. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a tile size on you. And we're going to do, we'll do 10. Same with you. We'll do We'll do 10. Yeah. Look at you. You guys are cooking with some fire. And have you noticed that our scorecards changed as well? I Why are these not formatted? Oh, you know why? Because I did that. So there we go.